एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Have all heard of the terms sections of solid and development of surface. Today in this video, we'll be learning these concepts. Welcome to S Chand Academy, and I am Anmol Bhatia. If you want to uh, study this topic in detail, you can refer this book by S Chand Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. So let's start with the video. So this is lecture number uh, nine of the series of engineering drawing course, and in this lecture we'll be uh, learning about the topic sections of solids and development of surfaces. In the part one, we'll be studying about the sections of solid, and in the consecutive next part of the same lecture, we'll be learning about the development of surfaces. Before beginning, let me just tell you that we have covered these three modules of the course, and we are on the fourth module, and the topic that we will be covering is. uh sections of solids and development of surfaces so here uh the first and foremost thing is what do you mean by a section of solid let's say we have a solid namely a uh, prism or pyramid and we cut that solid by a plane and that plane can be uh there in inclined to the horizontal plane or it can be inclined to the vertical plane so there are two cases or two situations in which you would be given a problem in which you have the case of inclination with the horizontal plane and inclination with the vertical plane the simple funda lies in the concept that if it is given inclination with the horizontal plane you have to cut the front view part of the object and uh, if if the inclination is given with the vertical plane you have to cut the uh top view of the the image or the projections let me just clarify this thing with the help of an example let's say i have a solid cylinder like this and let's say i cut the surface of the solid cylinder with the help of a plane so what do i get i'll get a section i'll get the two parts i'll get two sections and what is required in the question the question would ask for finding out the sectional top view if we look at this surface from the top i'll what do i get i'll i'll get the object or i'll get the image like this so the question says to draw this sectional top view and additionally the the true shape of the section is required and if we want to look at the object from the front or from the side that is required so we'll be learning on uh, how to draw these shapes or the cut section on the sheet of paper so here what happens let's say i have the object and the top view of the object is like this the top view of the object is square and the front view of the object is conical that means it is a kind of pyramid and let's say i cut this section from here and this part would be shown as a true shape here these lines indicate the sectional part the section that means the section is a solid section and if i cut the section uh, i'll get these hatched lines so in order to represent a solid section i'll use these hatchings or hatched lines now let us consider an example an example uh, is being taken from the book and the example says that a pentagonal prism of 30 mm base so the base of the prism is given 30 mm and 50 mm is the axis or the height of the uh, the prism and it is standing on the horizontal plane with the base whose one of the side is perpendicular to vp now it is cut by the section 45 degree inclined to the horizontal plane so in the initial part of the video i have told you that if the inclination is there with the horizontal plane what do you do you cut you will have the section in the front view and additionally the the question demands for finding out the front view sectional top view sectional side view and the development of the remaining solid also so i have told you that in this part we'll be learning about the sectional uh, views uh, of the section of the solid and in the next part we'll be learning about this development aspect if it is a pentagonal uh, prism so and i am keeping this pentagonal prism uh, on the horizontal plane so if i look at from the top i'll get a pentagon here 
So here I'll get the pentagon and if I look it from the front, I'll get this rectangle part. The base of the prism is given to me. The base of the prism is given to me as 30. So this part is 30 given and this height is 50 mm. So this is given to me. This, this thing is the basic information that you can uh, do. And then afterwards, what I need to do, I uh, would form the center part or the center of this pentagon by dividing it into the parts and I'll obtain the center of it. And further, the axis can be drawn by the axis line concept. So I can use this axis line. I can use this axis line to show the center of the surface. Now the question says that the section is cut by 45 degree uh, inclination through HP. So I have told you that if it is written HP, so you have to cut the section of the front view. So the front view is being cut by a plane, which is let's say at an angle of 45 degree. So it is given in the question that you have to make a line of 45 degree. Now here you will get certain points like this point is A dash, this point is B dash, E dash because this is the projector projected points of these top view. And then D and C, so this point would be D dash and C dash. Now the question comes that I need to find out the sectional top view, the sectional side view and also the front view aspect. So this is the front view. Now in order to draw the sectional top view, what to do? I'll uh, just join or I'll uh, extend the projectors from this point to the top view part. So A dash projector is met with this A. B dash E dash projector is met with B dash and E dash part. C dash D dash projector is met with C dash and D dash uh, similar points. And finally, this part are these all the parts are joined together so that a top view is obtained or the section of this top view is obtained. So the entire section indicates that it is the cut section. If this is the 45 degree angle and I'm looking at from the top, I'll get the same uh, pentagon as a sectional solid. So in order to indicate the section, use the hatching lines or the hatch lines, which are maybe inclined at an angle of 45 degree. And this part indicates the sectional top view. I can write it like STV or the sectional top view, but we need not to uh, indicate here STV just for the sake of reference of the audience. I have written STV here. Then comes the next aspect, which is the sectional side view. In order to make the side view, what I uh, am expected to do, I want these top view parts to be merged with the front view. Now, we what, what we got uh, in the previous part, we projected all the points upward. Now, we want to project all these points forward. So, A dash is projected forward, B dash, E dash is projected forward and C dash, D dash is projected forward. Now what to do, uh, I need to match all these points together. Like this is the point for A, when this matches with A, you will get the point here. In the similar manner, when B's point matches with B, you will get the point here. So I can get all the points together by just looking at the point and matching it with the front view part. And then finally, I will label all the points with the double dash because in the side view, the nomenclature says that you need to use a double dash for indicating the view. Now you need to just join all the parts together. So join all the parts together. You will get this pentagonal shape and as it is a section. So I need to hatch or I need to draw the hatched lines on the surface just to indicate that this is a solid surface and internally there is some material inside. So what do I, I, I got till this point? I got the front view, I got the sectional top view and I got the sectional side view of the cut section. Now the thing is to draw the true shape of the section. That means if this is the cut section and what shape would be there on this section that is to be indicated. So for this I need to do what? I need to project these points like this in the perpendicular fashion. So what, what you can do to make these uh, lines, you can keep the mini drafter one uh, side of the scale at this location and the remaining side can be noted or can be traced from the vertical part of the mini drafter.
or you can draw uh, these lines perpendicularly on the surface. Now take any distance and draw this line which is x1 y1. Why this is x1 y1 uh, line is there just to match the symmetry of this x y line. Now uh, I want some points here and then I'll join all the points together so as to obtain the exact shape of the figure. So how it can be obtained like from x y I have to open my compass and keeping the pointed end here and the pencil end here and take the distance. So I have taken this distance similar distance I have to cut from here to this point. So from this point to this point I need to cut the distance. So that point name is A. I am using capital A because this is none of the uh, view of the projection. If it was a front view I need to use a small letter A dash side view uh, small letter double dash and if it is a top view I need to use a small letter without a dash. But as it is a true shape so I need to use a capital letter for indicating it. Then uh, from this point to this point I need to open my compass and cut the section. So I need to cut the section from here to this point which is named as B. Similarly for this to this point I need to cut the section the same distance similarly for other points. So I got all the points together and how they are named as B and E only because this part is B E and this part was C dash D dash so I can name them as C D there. Now I need to join all the parts together and just to indicate the cut section I need to show the hatched aspect of the same. So this hatching is compulsorily to be done on the surface. So once the hatching is done uh, you can say that this is a solid surface and a cut section aspect. So what do we have done in this question? We have prepared the sectional um, front view, we have prepared the top view, we have prepared the sectional side view and additionally we have done the true shape of the solid. So we come to the end of the first part of the video in which we have learnt uh, the cases of sections of solid and in this uh, part we have seen the case of section of a pentagonal prism. In the second part we will be learning about the concept of development of surface. If you want to uh, study this topic in detail you can refer this book by S. Chan Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. Uh, so if you find the video interesting, like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder. Have you heard of the terms sections of solid and development of surface?